Outspoken Nigerian atheist still hasn't been seen since arrest. Hashtag free Mubarak Bala. In Nigeria, Mubarak Bala, the president of the Humanist Association of Nigeria, was not one to filter his words. On April 25th, he logged onto Facebook again and typed a post calling the Prophet Muhammad a terrorist. Shortly afterwards, Mr. Bala was arrested after lawyers and private practice in his conservative birthplace of the Muslim-majority city of Kano complained about his Prophet Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad post to the police. Other non-believers are worried that these same lawyers are drawing up a list of other Nigerian atheists to be prosecuted and that more arrests will be coming. In violation of a June court ruling, he has not been allowed to see his lawyer. Mr. Bala is believed to be the first atheist arrested in Nigeria for blasphemy. So I wanted to highlight this story because the issue of what's happening to Mubarak Bala is of the utmost importance. He's been held in detention and in incommunicado for over 100 days, long, way more than 100 days by now, since about April 28th, I believe. Um, but I wanted to highlight this story because this was actually published in the New York Times. And I'm really excited that this is being highlighted by um, major news organizations. It's a huge step in the right direction, but we need a lot more attention on his case in general. Um, they also, in the article, highlighted the story of the um, Nigerian singer who was recently arrested and um, sentenced to death by hanging for a song that he made in which he kind of refers to a Sengalese imam as um, higher than the Prophet Muhammad. He's also been sentenced to hanging for that. Um, and in general, I'm really excited to see more news organizations highlighting um, the fight for secularism and freedom of expression in Nigeria, because I believe it is going to be one of the most important movements, um, probably within my lifetime. What, what do you think happened to him? What he's been missing? And we, we, we had, um, we interviewed um, somebody over this from Nigeria. Leo Igwe. Mm -hmm. yeah. Leo Igwe is also highlighted in the article as well. Right. Um, but why do you think he's missing? Is he, is he alive? We don't know. We don't okay. know. And that's why we have to keep calling this out, drawing attention to it, because we demand to know what happened. Um, mm. Yeah, it's, um, it's. I mean, is this yeah. is this normal for Nigeria for somebody who's like for other cases for somebody who's now arrested for blasphemy? Um, it's fair to say this is arresting for blasphemy, right? Um, yes. To all of which and just were like, okay, let's look if okay, let's have a lawyer and everything, but like, no, wait, no lawyer. The prisoner is missing. Like, what? Wait, where, where is he? Like, nope. Go, hey, government, but where is this guy? No answer. Like, like, is this like the way things are in Nigeria, or is this a special case? Um, I can. I have to be honest in saying that I'm not sure. The impression I've got as I've followed this case, again, this is only an impression, is that this is unusual. Um, and it is certainly in violation with multiple court rulings that have been put forth regarding his case. Um, they're basically just um, police and state actors are ripping up by their actions, they're ripping up the Nigerian constitution itself. It's in violation of so many different laws that they have on the have on the books. It's crazy, um, and giving in to a lot of religious fundamentalist pressure in this way. And it's well documented that the police are sympathetic towards the religious fundamentalists. Um, and it's it's really. Um, terrible and then part of their saying oh well there are there are delays in the legal proceedings partly caused by covid like it which isn't helping the situation where, at all. just yeah, no but they say like just tell us where if he's alive like can you just say that like the, they like has been radio silence over this like where is he like yeah exactly you don't need, you don't need to even with that 
I mean, the COVID is not stopping you from just announcing, like, yep, he's here, he's fine. Like, you just can you just say that, at least? Like, what the hell? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Daniel is saying that the longer it takes for them to produce him, the less likely it is that he's still alive. Jesus Christ. It's um, really terrible. One, we're already dealing with COVID. Two, he already has some pre-existing medical conditions. Like, I believe he has hypertension. Um, so one thing I want to mention about Nigeria is um, a lot of a lot of atheists and secular groups are not paying enough attention to Nigeria. Nigeria is going to be one of the key most important countries for mm -hmm. uh, spreading secular enlightenment values and also promoting atheism. It's 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 one of the most uh, lar you know largest countries in the world by population, and it has a lot of grassroots. Um, self-made um, atheists and secular movements and humanist movements from within Nigeria itself growing very fast with a lot of success, even though they're meeting a lot of hostility from both Christians and Muslims. I mean, the, given the amount of um, you know barriers in their way, it's so impressive to see that the atheists in Nigeria have managed to grow so much yes. and have managed to spread that. You know, you know, it's, it's amazing, it, and it's it's also a lot of a lot more brave than what we're doing here, right? And it's a lot more, um, you know, they deserve, and, and they're not getting the, the atheist activists in Nigeria. They're not getting the attention they deserve, given the, the amount of success they have had in the past couple of years, right? And given that Nigeria is a country that is dealing with both diseases of Christianity and Islam at the same time, right? Um, you know, uh, it, we should we should look at it as like the global atheist community should uh, see look at Nigeria and pay more attention to it and see it as a major battleground against these dangerous ideologies. And, you know, Africa so period over, well, I mean, over a yeah. third of the 71 countries that have legislation against blasphemy over a third of those countries are in Africa. Yeah. But I mean, Africa, I don't know if we should say Africa period because we don't usually say like, I don't know, Asia period about, I don't know. Yeah. In general, okay. I don't think that African non-believers and secularists are highlighted enough. That might be a broad okay. statement, but Maybe um, right. that's my, that is my generalization. I'm I my feeling is that South like North African countries do get highlighted because people are yes. just because they're more Islamic and people mm -hmm. do have this anti-Islam anti-Islam um, focus. You know, like, focus a lot. So the North African countries do get more highlighted than middle and South African countries. Right. And I think Nigeria is right in the sweet spot of having both Islam and Christianity. Um, but I think like Kenya and Uganda don't get enough, don't get the attention that des they deserve. Right. So, yeah. There's Especially actually a, a prominent activist there's, in Kenya that I really want to have on, but I need there's one country the that do doesn't that. get enough attention and i can't even pronounce it every time i have to look up this country's is name is it mauritania yes thank you God damn <laughs> mauritania it. i already knew <laughs> yeah you already know like i i keep learning their name and then the next next time i look at it like god damn it i forgot how to pronounce this again what they have such a weird name like it's so hard to just look at the word like how is this mauritania like it's not written like mauritania anyways Pay attention to Mauritania. Mauritania is also extremely hostile towards any form of dissent against Islam. And it's worth noting that these blasphemy laws hurt Muslims. Like the Nigerian singer who is being sentenced to death is a Muslim. You know, these, these laws harm everyone. They right. harm everyone. And we fight against them. Well, one, because they do target atheists often highly but they they destroy the freedom of expression for all people especially religious minorities and even more especially non-religious minorities um which is why we speak out so fiercely and we blaspheme right. we blaspheme on the behalf of those who cannot <laughs> who, who can uh, aj is saying atheist lives matter yes they do Pinpoint is saying Nigeria, the most populous country in Africa, and soon to become yeah, well, yeah, definitely, and soon is soon to become one of the most populated countries in the world. 
Um, and pinpoint. Oh, Susanna is frozen. I can still I? hear you though. Okay, there I am. You're, no, yeah, of course. Pinpoint saying clash between Nigeria is a clash between Islam and Christianity. Yes, and soon to be a clash between Islam, Christianity, and atheism. Okay. Uh, hopefully. Yeah, but I have a lot of high hopes for Nigeria. And mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. uh, very producing a lot of very dedicated activists in Nigeria. Yes. Um, yeah. Moral of the story is that we demand proof of life of Mubarak Bala. Yes. That's the bare minimum. Um, yeah, okay. So there's Robert. That's not what we're covering, but we'll look into it, I guess. Right? Um, all right. News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has? What's holding you back? Okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also... If you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows right they want to get your videos but nah you we think is no and oh look like, oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah. Subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> But we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us Deprioritize what does that mean? That means we're not we don't show up on the suggested You know videos on the right and all that, you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow Unfortunately, we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 